Netflix has been cracking down on VPNs, proxies, and even DNSs. That's probably why you've seen proxy error lately on Netflix quite a bit. But the good news is you can still unblock Netflix US using smart DNS proxy or smart VPN. It's a bit more arduous because we're circumventing a lot of stuff, but it's still worth it. Before we get into it though, let's comprehend the problem first and then we'll dig deep. So say I wanted to watch The Office or Parks and Rec from outside of the States, even though I have a Netflix subscription and if I search for them, it shows no results, meaning it's unavailable in my country. The next obvious thing to get over geo restrictions is by changing a country to that of America where the shows are available. So the most likely you'd do a Google search, find a free VPN and install it from one of the top results. Pretty standard stuff I'd say. Now let's see how it goes. I turn on the VPN, switch the country to the United States, and this time I can see the thumbnail of those shows. But let's see if it actually plays there. And now if I click on the thumbnail, as expected, here it is, the Netflix proxy error. You seem to be using an unblocker or proxy. Please turn off any of these services and try again. Which is true, so why does it happen and what can we do to fix that? Well, all Netflix has to do is track a user's IP address. If Netflix sees that a large number of users with accounts from all over the world seem to be connecting with the same IP address, which will be the free VPN you're using, those IP addresses can be blacklisted and you can get the proxy error message. Yes, with the free VPN service, you can switch to a new IP address, which Netflix would notice again and block again. In other words, Netflix doesn't exactly know whether you're using a VPN or not. Instead, it just blocks IP addresses it knows are shared among many other people. So to remove the Netflix proxy error, avoid using the free ones and start using a paid one because those are the only ones that actually work. I personally use Smart DNS Proxy because obviously I'll work for them. Let's see how it works, shall we? So to do that, go to smartdsproxy.com and then sign up for a 14 day free trial. To set it up, you can follow the instructions on the website or watch one of our videos. We have a setup guide for all platforms. If you're already a paid SmartDNS Proxy subscriber, you can also use SmartDNS Proxy's VPN, which is what we'll do in this video. So download the VPN app, it's also on Android and iOS by the way, and then select the country closest to your physical location. I would also recommend you prefer the Smart VPN server over regular ones. What's a Smart VPN you ask? Well, we'll come to that later on. Now head over to Netflix, and if I search for the office, the thumbnail appears, let's see if it plays now. And there you go. It works perfectly fine. In my experience, servers from the UK or Netherlands work well with Smart VPN as they're less crowded, and it's just Netflix. With Smart VPN, you can unblock streaming services from any country without even changing the server. For example, if I wish to see the BBC iPlayer, I can just open it in a new tab. How awesome is that? So yeah, that's how you remove Netflix's proxy error, and you can even do it on the go with Smart VPN. That way, you know, you can watch on the plane, on the bus, on the car, on the bar. I'm Vamsi, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.